Sunday at All Out, Chris Jericho puts his career on the line against this man, the most disgusting, despicable human being that I've ever been around in my life. And I'm going to be very honest with you, this is very uncomfortable for me to do, MJF. What an intro, Tony. You're such a professional. Cowboy Chris, Corazon de Leon, Lionheart. The man of a thousand and four holds, the sexy beast, the Ayatollah of rock and roller, the best in the world at what you do, the goat, the pain maker, the champion, the demo god, Chris Jericho. Four decades. Four. Four, thank you. Uh, please of consistently evolving in order to stay on top of the mountain in professional wrestling, being universally known as the greatest of all time. Your career is absolutely unparalleled, Christopher, and whether I, your greatest critic, cares to admit it or not, you will be forever etched in the Mount Rushmore of professional wrestling, but don't get it twisted, buddy. By the time my career is all said and done, I'll be taking your place. And I know wrestling fans are gonna take a long time to get used to that. Hell, I might as well be pro wrestling stepdad because I have your shoes to fill, Christopher, and that's no easy feat. However, Muhammad Ali was once considered the greatest boxer in the world. Thought he was the greatest boxer about one or two times too many because he kept coming back for that spotlight. He turned his brains into scrambled eggs and his body into a shell of what it once was. Look in the mirror, Jericho. After everything I've put you through, you're Ali. Your knees are shaking, your back is aching, it takes you five hours to go to sleep at night, and a whole lot longer to get out of bed in the morning. You're on a downward spiral, man. But, just like Ali, you're an addict. You need the spotlight. You crave it. The warmth beating of that spotlight is oh too intoxicating for you to stay away. And I've taken that away from you three times, Chris, and when a man like you loses that spotlight, you're willing to do just about anything to get it back. That's why you put your career on the line, Chris. And that's why on September 5th, at All Out, I'm going to have the distinct honor and privilege of ending one of the greatest runs in the history of professional wrestling. It is oh so poetic that the same yearning of the spotlight that got you to the dance will be the same reason why your music dies.